Hello there, bike touring Mike here. I'm standing outside Nice Airport here in Provence, France. I'm just about to hop on my bike and start a 10 day bike tour here in Provence. Uh, I'm already warmed up, I've uh, just uh, assembled my bike inside here. <laughs> Probably the most uh, exhausting thing of the whole day. So uh, let's hit the bike and the roads and start this bike tour. on the roads but uh, fortunately there's a nice uh, cycle path that follows along this main road all the way down the coast here find some water still haven't uh, been drinking any water since I left home this morning and I find a small enough supermarket so that, I, that I can leave my bike outside the one thing I forgot back home was my bike lock so I have to get a new one tonight but uh, first I want to find a supermarket or a place to fill up my water bottle so I'm, I'm looking everywhere Plus, I can see the mountains up ahead here, so the climbing is about to begin already. So, <laughs> I want to find some water before I start climbing. took a little break here. Uh, the plan today is to reach the town of Giras and that's uh, about 30 kilometers from, from the airport in Nice. 30 kilometers can seem not a lot of <laughs> distance to go but uh, Giras is about 500 meters above sea level so <laughs> right now I got a, about a seven kilometer climb uh, for about uh, 300 meters or so so uh, uh, I'm in for <laughs> quite a, a challenge here tonight and it's already past uh, 6 in the evening and I think the Sun sets at around uh, 7 or just before that so uh, I know I'm gonna be cycling a bit in the dark here just before I reach Grasse and the reason I really want to make it to grass tonight is because it's gonna rain really heavily this night and the morning after so uh, I really want to stay at a campground and they also have a decathlon store there so I'm, I'm uh, aiming to visit that in the morning and buy some gas for my stove here.
almost in grass now uh, and I hope <laughs> and think that the rest of the way is uh, mostly downhill here so I think we have around uh, six or seven kilometers left So this is my little place for the night. As you can see, I've uh, put the bike underneath my C2C plastic bag that I'm probably gonna use for the trip back home, just to protect it from the rain, uh, which is gonna be upon us in a couple of hours here. So uh, hopefully the bike will stay pretty dry underneath that tarp over there. Got the tent set up now at the campground. Was pretty lucky when I arrived here because the main gate was closed. The reception hadn't closed uh, yet, but uh, some guy just walked by and I followed him into the reception area. And I had to select my camp spot in the dark here. Uh, I know it's gonna rain really heavily tonight and tomorrow morning, so I had to choose wisely. I didn't want to be under any trees since uh, usually when it rains like this uh, a lot of uh, sticky stuff that's in the leaves of the trees gets stuck to your tent so uh, I chose a pretty open spot. Now I'm just gonna walk this uh, street down here to the supermarket for about 200 meters and see if I can grab some food for tonight. It's uh, around uh, 8.30 in the evening but uh, I figure it's gonna be a pretty late night since uh, I'm not aiming to leave the campground before 12 o'clock in the morning because the rain seems to be heaviest in the morning so I'm aiming to leave here at around 12 uh, and hopefully avoid uh, the main part of the rain. Back from the supermarket or mall or whatever it was <laughs> down there and I've also taken a shower now and uh, made it back to the tent here. One of the things about uh, going here to grass is they have a decathlon store here. So I'm gonna go by that store tomorrow and pick up some gas for my stove. So I don't have any uh, stove or uh, possibilities to cook some warm dinner tonight. So I'm just gonna eat a sandwich. But I also bought some uh, cheese and a little tiny bottle of Merlot <laughs> when in France. Um, so uh, that's the dinner for this evening. This day was a bit hard to document on video. Once I uh, arrived here in Nice I uh, knew I had uh, a very small window of time to, to get here so uh, I skipped uh, filming assembling my bike. Uh, I think I've done that so many times now. So it was a pretty hectic day. Uh, I only had 40 minutes for my transfer time back in Stockholm and my first flight got maybe 10 minutes delayed or so. So uh, I think I had like 25 minutes to uh, get to the second flight and those were in completely different terminals. <laughs> So I had to run like a madman. Um, they have this uh, bus service that uh, takes you from one terminal to the next, but uh, still I had to run like a madman and just barely made the the second flight. So I was kind of nervous that uh, that my bike and my my panniers uh, wouldn't make the transfer either, but they made it just as I did. So once I had set up the bike at the airport, I uh, hit the road and. <laughs> I had a pretty tough climb for maybe the first 20 kilometers or so. At one time I looked down at my Garmin and it said the, the inclination of the ascent was about 28% so <laughs> I had to put in my lowest gear and was just able to get up that hill. Uh, tomorrow is uh, also a pretty tough day, it's not that long, I think it's about 65 kilometers, but uh, I'm looking forward to doing uh, maybe 15 or 1600 meters of climbing, so <laughs> I'm in for a tough day tomorrow as well. 
So thanks for watching everyone and uh, please hit that subscribe button if you like this type of content even though there wasn't that much content today. <laughs> and until next time, have a good one.